Welcome back to more Moss of the People. My name is Asa and I am your host. I'm trying out closed captions. I've never done that before. Let's see how that works. So this is the last episode of 2023 and I am still amazed that I've done this for a year. <laughs> Maybe that sounds uh, a little... <laughs> odd that a host of a podcast would say something like that, but you know, you never know what it's going to be like. And I started this 11, 11, 22. So now it's been over a year, a year and one month later, here I sit in my home doing a podcast episode, my final episode of 2023. And it's been a year. It has been a year. And um, to be honest, it's been a year of a lot of heartbreak. And uh, that's not necessarily something that I usually have in my life because uh, I make sure that I am, you know, doing whatever I can to maintain good relationships because community is very important to me. But what has happened this year is there's been a lot of sicknesses, a lot of illness in my family. And, you know, my family means everything to me. And I, uh, I regret to inform the world that on December 24th, Christmas Eve, my brother-in-law passed away. And, you know, my family, we haven't really experienced a, a lot of death in in our generation, if you know what I mean. It's like, of course, the extended generations where the grandparents, they're all gone. My father, may he rest in peace, he's gone. But, you know, my mom is still here. All my siblings are still here. We haven't had tragedies in our immediate family. We haven't had uh, to experience this. And this is now, it's starting. It's starting and I am feeling it. I am feeling it because we are all getting older. We are um, getting sick. My sister is sick. I've got you know, just illnesses, illnesses in the family. And it makes me feel unsettled. It makes me feel like I'm untethered. Don't know if that makes any sense to you, but I'm telling you how it is. And, you know, in a lot of ways, I feel so heavy, so extremely heavy in my body. Like, I feel like somebody's pushing down on my shoulders. And so I have to work very consciously to stare clear of allowing that to be the energy at which I choose to work in my day from, because I realized that this just happened. I mean, it's very recent. It was three days ago. He just died three days ago. Um, and now we're starting to plan to travel to Houston, Texas for the funeral and to be there with my family, to be there with my beautiful, beloved sister. And hopefully my siblings can come. My mother can come. I hope so. And his mother and his siblings. And I mean, it's, it is tragic in so many ways because I mean, he was far too young. He was far too young to die. And what does it remind me of again, again? And it reminds me that time is now. Our time to live our life is right now. So this episode is going to be real short because it's taking all I can to be here right now and to share my heart and my views with the world right this very minute because, whew, yeah, I would rather go to bed. I'd rather go to bed right now and just cry, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give you this message and I'm going to get my outerwear on and I'm going to go outside and I'm going to go walk in my forest and I'm going to go talk to God and I'm going to go talk to my brother-in-law, Jay, and ask him to hold us all now. Hold us all in the absence, in the vacuum that he left behind him until that vacuum kind of closes up and envelopes around us again so that we feel safe and that we feel certain that we are reminded and that we remember that we all one day will be together again. Every one of us. We're all going to see each other again. I believe in reincarnation. I believe in seeing spirits. I believe in feeling spirits. I believe in life and death and the future energy all of it i believe in all of it 
So because I believe in that, how can I be sad, right? Well, I'm sad because I'm thinking about my sister, my heartbroken sister who now has lost the love of her life. He's been in my life for over 50 years. He has been her man for so long. It's like she has lived longer with him than without him, right? She was a teenager when they met. And it just uh, reminds us the time is now. The moment is now, my friend. What do you need to be reminded of again so that you can get your stuff, your state of affairs in order today? How can you order the uh, a will, get an attorney on the schedule so that you can sit down and create a will for yourself? How can you write down your wishes for when you die? Do you want to be cremated? Do you want to be buried? Do you want to be in an urn? What do you want? Do you want your ashes spread? Is it even legal? Find out. Start having the conversations. My brother-in-law and my sister spoke about all of this. There's even going to be a beautiful crawfish boil celebrating his life the day after the funeral. That, to me, is exactly what he would want. You know why? Because he helped to create it. He helped design it. How gorgeous is that? I mean, this is the power that we have now. Oh, it's going to take me an hour. It's going to take me two hours. It's going to cost me money. I have to get an attorney. I have to write a will. I have to get power of attorneys. I have to do all this. Yes. Yes. It's an investment. You are investing in yourself, your peace now so that your family, your people behind you don't have to come up and fix your life, fix your mess in the aftermath. Please, please remember, listen to me now. Don't leave a mess for somebody else, please. Take your responsibility, take care of the responsibility that is yours and start to get your ball rolling so that maybe you can have a crawfish boil one day that your family can have for you after you're dead or even a party before you die, your epic end of life party, whatever that looks like for you. But I'll tell you, through heartbreak in my voice and in my heart, for the loss for the family, to the gain to heaven, and then the gain back to us because he's always here, energy, spirit, angel. Now he becomes one of my angel guides instead of being my brother who I can call if I needed some help to talk things through. Somebody the family could trust, right? Talk about legacy, man. That guy left a legacy. Jay, may you rest in peace, my beloved brother. And may you have a gorgeous, gorgeous rest of this year. And I look forward to seeing you in 2024 when I am launching my Patreon page. I will talk to you more about that later. But know and trust that the time is now. Don't delay. Mm -mm. Don't delay. Goodbye, my friend. Happy New Year.